Good morning guys, happy Monday or whatever day you are watching this. I hope you're having a good one. If you're new here, my name's Amanda. I'm a third year vet student and welcome to my second surgery week. If you watched my video from a couple weeks ago, you would have seen that I did my first surgery in vet school with my group. However, for that surgery, I was my team's anesthesiologist, so I didn't actually operate, which is why this week is super exciting because for our surgery on Thursday, I am actually one of the surgeons, which is so crazy to say out loud and so crazy to think that I'm gonna be doing my first surgery. Since you guys seem to really like the last surgery video, I thought I would bring you guys along again this week and show you how I'm prepping for this surgery, especially since I'm going to be prepping to actually do the surgery, so I think it'll be a little more interesting than last time. So with that being said, I'm gonna go make a coffee and get started with my to-do list for Monday. Little update, I have finished my coffee. I've gone through one lecture out of, I think we have six hours of lecture today, so I'm gonna try and power through those so that I have the rest of the afternoon to start reviewing for the surgeries. We don't actually find out what surgery we're doing until the night before the surgery, so I won't find out until Wednesday evening whether I'm doing doing a spay or a neuter. So because of that, we need to prep for both of them. And I think my plan is to try and review the surgeries today so that tomorrow and Wednesday, I can go over gowning and gloving and make sure that I know all of my suture patterns, what my instruments are, and my different closures. My nerves right now are like at a two out of 10. I'm actually pretty excited for this one. So hopefully it stays that way. I'm going to get back to watching my lectures and then I will check in with you when I start reviewing for the surgeries. It is just after two o'clock, I finally finished up with lectures, so I'm gonna start prepping for the surgeries. If you guys watched in a past vlog, I can't remember how many ago it was, but I basically made a study guide for the spay procedure. I think it ended up being two pages, but it was basically the whole procedure step by step. Now I don't have one of these study guides for a neuter, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and make that now so that I can use those two documents as a reference for this surgery, but also the surgeries that we have coming up. Also, my Christmas tree is not decorated yet, so that is also on the to-do list because December is literally two days away and it's not decorated yet. Who am I? That is so wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna go study and then I'll figure that out later. Sing about a holiday, the happy holiday. Sing about a holiday. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It is lunchtime now. I spent the morning doing some of the lectures that I had for today. I've been rearranging my schedule a little bit because this week is actually pretty heavy in terms of the amount of lectures that we have and it's only two weeks till Christmas. So basically any of the lectures that are not gonna be on an upcoming midterm in the next two weeks, I'm gonna push to Christmas break just so that I have some extra time to prepare for surgery and also to study for the four midterms that we have coming up. So because of that, I have the afternoon off and I'm gonna spend it preparing for surgery. So that's basically the plan for today. Um, I'm not going to leave my house at all because it is super snowy. We got a ton of snow overnight and it is gross out. Just kidding. I have to go pick up my grocery order. Okay. It's a little bit later now. I got my groceries. I had lunch and now I'm going to practice some of my suture patterns. There's basically four patterns that we really need to focus on. A simple interrupted, simple continuous with buried knots, a cruciate pattern, and then an interdermal pattern. The first three I definitely feel the most comfortable with besides burying the knot. That for me is like 50-50 if the knot actually buries. But the interdermal pattern is one that I have not practiced a lot. And that's the pattern that we use if we're closing the skin on a neuter. Because I don't know if I'm doing a spay or a neuter, I'm definitely gonna practice that one. I have my practice pad as well as my daisy. I don't really know how well the inner dermal is gonna work on this because there's no like distinct skin layers on this, whereas in my daisy model, there's the three distinct layers. So I might actually do the inner dermal on that one and then practice my other patterns on this silicone pad. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking and get practicing. Also side note, I'm gonna practice my suturing with gloves on. I don't do that a ton, but I know I should because we're gonna be suturing all the time with gloves on anyway. So I should be getting a feel of what holding the instrument is like and what the suture feels like with gloves on. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Thankfully, I have a bunch of my stuff from last year when we were doing all our surgery practice in our bedrooms so I can actually put on some gloves and practice my suturing. Thank you. 
Suturing complete. I definitely forgot how to do a simple continuous pattern. So glad that I refreshed on that. I did do my interdermal pattern on my silicone pad and it didn't really work. It kept ripping through the silicone. So that's something that I'm definitely gonna have to practice on my daisy, but I got the pattern down. The lines that did stay, it did oppose really nicely. So that gives me confidence for Thursday. We'll probably just keep reviewing those suture patterns because suturing I feel like is one of those things that you can never practice enough. I still am quite slow when it comes to suturing, but I would rather be slow and get it right than go quickly and mess something up or throw a slip knot or whatever the case might be. Hopefully that is also something that comes with time that it'll speed up. For now, I think we're doing okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go grab some dinner and then we'll update you if I decide to review for the surgery or not tonight. I do have some lectures that I should probably get through. Anyway, at the end of the day, I'm happy with my sutures and that's really all I could ask for, so. It is officially 24 hours until I perform my first surgery. I cannot believe I'm saying that. That is so crazy. Surprisingly not stressed. I think like I said before, because we've already done one surgery and I've seen kind of how the day plays out, I'm less nervous. Also, I was just more nervous about anesthesia in general because it's one of my weaker subjects. We've never done a full anesthesia. We've practiced surgery a lot more, so theoretically I'm more comfortable with it. Don't know if the nerves are gonna kick in at any point today, but I will keep you updated if they do. Other than that, I have a bunch of lectures to do today. Go figure. Honestly, this week has kind of been kicking my butt in terms of lectures. I don't know if it's because last week was definitely easier when it came to the number of lectures we had, so I was just expecting this week to also be easier. A lot of stuff is getting thrown in right before Christmas break, but the countdown is on. Today I'm gonna gown and glove really quickly, just so that I actually remember how to do it for tomorrow. And then other than that, I'm feeling pretty good about the surgery. So that's kind of a nice feeling compared to last time. Feeling good so far. Also, I finally got my Christmas tree decorated. So that's just one less thing I have on my to-do list. And even though that was not a necessary to-do, it makes me so happy looking at it. So I'm feeling great. Okay, just finished up with my morning classes and I'm just getting ready to sit down for Elf Auction, which is basically a Christmas auction that is run every year at OVC by the third years, which is my class this year. A bunch of profs get together and auction off certain things for the students at OVC. So for example, one of our profs is auctioning off her baking. Basically, whoever has the highest offer is going to get baked goods once a week during exam season, which is like the cutest prize ever. How precious. All of the money raised during the elf auction goes to a charity. I don't remember which charity we're donating to this year, but it's a great way to build community spirit at OVC and give back to a good cause. So I will let you know if I bid on anything. The auction just finished. We ended up raising over $1,800 for charity and it's going to the Hope House. I'm so excited that we had such a good cause to support and I love elf auction. I hope that it's in person next year. I have one more year at OVC and I would love to have my last year in person because it is so fun. Anyway, I have one lecture to do this afternoon and then I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon probably suturing, gowning and gloving, doing all that fun stuff to prep for the surgery. The butterflies are starting in my tummy, but it's like good nerves at this point, which is nice because last time it was all the bad nerves. I was just terrified. So I'm glad that I'm actually excited for this time around. Okay, gloving successful. For not having done it for like a month and a half, I think it went pretty well. I still struggle so much with gloving and I think it's just because my hands are extra sweaty. It does not look as graceful as my instructors in the videos that they posted. I have no idea how to master this, but they're on my hands and I'm sterile-ish. It's so crazy how much more confident I feel in the surgery aspect of this versus the anesthesia stuff. We practiced gowning and gloving so much last year and it's just so crazy how quickly that year went by from us practicing these surgery techniques in our bedroom to now actually going and doing it on the real thing. Also, look what just came in the mail! 
My Christmas scrub cap. I'm so excited. This scrub cap company is called Not Your Average Scrub Caps and they are actually a Canadian brand. The girl who runs it is so sweet and she sent this to me a little bit early so that I would have it in time for my surgery. And it came right in time. I'm so excited to use this tomorrow. Here, let me put it on. How cute. I love how festive it is. And it also has buttons on the side so that you can hook your mask over top of it if your mask straps bother your ears. So that's just another added bonus. But I love how festive it is and I can't wait to wear it tomorrow. So thank Thank you. Okay, on to suturing. I'm going to practice on my daisy this time so that I can actually try doing the interdermal pattern and hopefully it will stay. I've had this daisy since first year and I don't know if you guys can see, but um, it's looking a little rough. It is really falling apart after having used it for three years now. And this is actually really good for practicing bearing a knot as well, because if you can see, there's actually three layers inside. So this one is sutured up already, but then this is your sub cue. And then you have the skin layer there as well. This model is really good for practicing closure on different layers. The foam is just a little bit finicky, but no model is gonna be exactly like the real thing. So you just practice on what you have. Okay, my sub Q layer is done. You can see sub Q is closed, knots are buried. My camera battery died, but we just got our surgery assignment and I'm gonna be doing a neuter tomorrow on the cutest little puppy. He's so sweet, he's so fluffy, and honestly, I'm super excited. This time, last surgery, like the night before, I was literally about to throw up. I was so nervous, I couldn't eat, and this time I'm genuinely excited to go in tomorrow, so I'm really excited for that. Also, because it's a neuter, we get to go in at 9 a.m., which like, ideal, because last time I was up at six I think it was or something so you know tomorrow's gonna be such a good day I can't wait it is now 9 30 I've gone over the castration procedure I've gone over gowning and gloving a sepsis setting up my instrument table gone over all of my suture patterns and at this point I'm feeling pretty good for tomorrow um no nerves have really kicked in yet but I think I'm gonna head to bed probably pretty soon hopefully get a really good sleep and then wake up probably at 7 30 tomorrow so I can have breakfast get ready have a chill morning before I have to head to campus to operate. Oh my god. I can't believe this is my life. Anyway, I'm gonna head to bed and I will see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is surgery day. I'm surprisingly pretty calm right now. I slept really well last night. Well, I slept decent last night, but much better than last time, so that's exciting. And then I am going to head to campus and scrub in for surgery. It's so insane. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, it is much later now, but I am officially done my very first surgery. It went so well. Honestly, I just feel so lucky to be in the program of my dreams in the position that I'm in. Like, this is what I dreamed of as a little kid, and here I am, and it just is the most surreal thing in the world, and I'm just so happy. Today was unreal. Like I said previously, we had a canine neuter, so all in all, a pretty quick procedure. Everything went really smoothly. It was a great learning experience. As the secondary surgeon my role was to remove the second testicle as well as to close the incision and this was actually my first time suturing on live tissue and let me tell you <laughs> it is not like the models but it's crazy how the muscle memory kicks in from practicing and how even in a high stress situation like my first surgery it seemed to come secondhand because of how much we had practiced in the past I ended up doing a simple interrupted closure on the subcutaneous tissue and then we did an interdermal pattern to close the skin and I'm so happy with how my skin incision closed at the end the prof was like oh my gosh it looks like he didn't even have surgery like I can't even see where the incision is and that was the best feeling in the entire world like I feel so lucky to be doing this I can't even put into words how cool these experiences are and how valuable this feedback is just getting to do these things and getting to learn these things with my classmates and my friends it's like 
the coolest thing in the world. So I'm so glad that I get to bring you guys along on this journey. I'm so glad that I get to document this for myself to look back on when I'm 10 years out in practice and I can go watch the day that I did my very first surgery. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up my very first surgery video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for following along on my journey. I genuinely feel like I'm going through vet school with 9,000 of my best friends and I'm so glad that I get to share these milestones with all of you guys. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.